Hey guys, I'm Balfour Aduce and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be taking you through my dorm room and showing you what you can expect when you first move in, as well as the things that I've added since I moved in. A little bit about myself, I'm a first year student at UCLA and my intended major is neuroscience. I live in the Hedrick Summit building, which is known for being all the way at the top of the hill. So a lot of walking to get up here, but let's see if all that walking is worth it when we check out the room. Now, before you even enter the room outside, we got a whiteboard where you can put some of your info. Of course, I got to promote my YouTube there, but let's go inside the room. I'm in a Plaza Triple in Hedrick Summit. Basically, this means we have a bit more space than most of the dorm rooms. We have a bunk bed, a lofted bed, three desks, two on one side, one on the other, three wardrobes, one under the lofted bed, and then two dressers right across from each other. Now let's go and look at my side of the room. On my side of the room is my bed and my desk. I was pretty lucky to get the bottom bunk because you now it's easy to just come inside and take a seat or lay down straight away. These walls back here are actually bulletin boards so you can post stuff up. So I decided to post up a tapestry of this little world map. I also lined the area with some LED lights and it makes it really glow. So I'm really proud of this addition. On my desk is my workspace. I got my laptop and some office supplies, my lamp for when I need to do work. Above, we have a little bookshelf here. I got some of my personal books that I want to do reading on my own time. My class planner, my journal, my Bible and a notebook. And I also got my Polaroid camera over here. And then up on the top shelf, I got a mini keyboard that I use to stay playing piano while I'm over here. And then above on the bulletin here, I got some messages just to keep me uh, motivated. And then on the side, I got some hats hanging off the wall and this poster that I got from the 1968 Olympics. Now guys, if you're worried about closet space, I wouldn't be because these wardrobes actually have quite a bit of space. It has an entire clothes rack that's pretty sizable. It can fit a lot of stuff. As you can see, I have a lot of extra space for things if I want to get new stuff. Actually, it was a fit an entire suitcase in here. And then on the top, there's a little rack where I put my shoes, but you know, you can put whatever you need. And then there's of course space at the bottom and two extra drawers down there. So there's a lot of space in the closet. Finally, on the inside door, there is a full body mirror. We are renting a micro fridge from the school. So basically how it works is when the microwave is on, the fridge is not and vice versa. So we got our microwave and our fridge. Don't have much in it yet, but you know, there's a good amount of space in here. Take what you can get. As for the bathroom, we have two rooms over here. This is for the toilet and the one down the way is for the shower. Across the hall is our suite mate's room. And then we have a sink, mirror, and the medicine cabinet. Last thing I want to talk about were these LED lights lining the ceiling. They were the last things that I set up in the room and they also took the longest and they were the most time consuming. But they're really fun to play around with and they really give the room some ambience. So a definite necessity, yes. Well that's all I got for right now guys. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you and hope you have a good day or a good night wherever you're at. Like I said, that's it for now, and I'll see all of you later.